Hello my soccer universe. Yes, we have already league games running at this moment. I just um, decided to not watch any of these uh, and yeah, we'll put them in the big roundup for uh, the leagues which will hopefully come by Tuesday. Uh, they will have everything together. But instead, um, I want to look at the jersey of one of my new jerseys and yes, I have two Milan jerseys missing, but I decided not to go with Milan. Uh, let's go with a jersey from one of the big clashes this weekend. And you know, there are a few out there. I have a Barcelona derby, not going to Barcelona today. We have two clashes uh, in Italy that uh, look interesting. In the Lazio, don't have any one of these. We have Roma and Napoli. You've seen all my Roma jerseys yet. Uh, there's a few things also in Germany and then there is of course in the Premier League uh, probably the biggest clash of the weekend and that's where I want to go. Liverpool at home to Tottenham. And now my Spurs jersey, as you already have seen, I uh, have made a video about it so uh, it's time to look at a Liverpool jersey. And I'm gonna go with the first one that I ever owned. So oh, this is the 13-14 Liverpool home jersey, which was the second ever by Warrior, uh, which is New Balance now. And it's in a sense a historic jersey because they almost became champions and then Manchester City pipped them to the title in the last few weeks uh, when it really looked like the Reds could finally win the Premier League again. I actually have written a post about this jersey, which is down in the description, where I say it's kind of your average jersey. There are some things that I like, some things I do not like. So I want to reiterate this, but I also want to go into the details about the shirt, because there's a lot going on on this one. Uh, where shall we start? Well, let's start with the general uh, layout you know you have your typically red Liverpool jersey but everything uh, on the applications the sponsor and um, crest so this logo is golden which is not a bad look per se um, however it's a little bit broken up by this weird color that is actually red and then there's this white stripes going in and it cannot decide is it a crew neck is it a V neck something in between and it completely looks out of place. We have of course the same thing here on the sleeves, a little bit more prominent and it's on the upper side. So um, also odd but I think that's all right. Second sleeve, same thing. So it's symmetric in, in that sense. And I don't like the color a lot. I mean I don't mind it the way it is honestly. But um, it doesn't fit in with the overall colorway in a sense because this white is a bit, little bit too much in contrast with the rest. I personally like it and I think that it is last season, the 17-18 season where the crest is gold and everything else is white. Um, I think that looks actually quite cool. Uh, I also like it when it's all white. I don't mind it all yellow and the first warrior shirt also had it all yellow. So. Um, or gold, I think it should be gold. So that I think is quite fine. Um, going back to this weird marking, if you look closer, there is some weird ventilation holes going for it. And the same is true for the sleeves. Sleeve curves. So uh, that's, I found very interesting. Um, another interesting feature, the Warrior logo, of course, you don't see this too often. I absolutely love the Liverpool crest. Very nicely stitched on there, the LFC. Um, and this is not the full crest, the official one. This is really just a live bird as they had it in at least the 80s, maybe 70s, 80s, when they put start putting the crest on there. Um, of course, it cost a little bit of, um, how to say, upright that you don't have, you know, if you have the regular crest, there are the um, two flames remembering a 96 uh, killed in the Hillsborough disaster on there. Well, you don't have it here, but it's on the back of the neck. 
you have the two flames and you have the 96 so um, it is there but you know I understand that um, it could be a little bit more prominent so that's that feature and then there's a pretty uh, interesting feature if you look at it closer this shirt has a lot of shadow striping going on yes or 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 you see so there's shadow striping um, it's basically maybe a close-up here um, you see here a white band and then you have a darker red again lighter darker and then it's a bigger band and in every band and you can read it already here it says Liverpool FC and then this is uh, broken up maybe I should go a little bit further down by Liver Bird again so that's the Liver Bird and then it says Liverpool FC and this is all over this shirt which makes it really interesting to look at from the distance you don't see this at first um, up on close inspection you see that there's a lot going on in this shirt and actually a shadow pattern like this I don't mind at all this is a nice touch uh, that doesn't compl over complicate the shirt gives it a little bit more character uh, we also gotta talk a little bit about the cut here it's pretty much raglan sleeves what you would expect but look at the ventilation coming here on the sides and the weird cut from the sides um have to see it cuts out here a little bit and then goes down uh, and the side panel which is then oops losing it at first kind of thin it thickens out again quite some and then uh, goes right under the sleeves very heavily ventilated here i'm curious to wear this in summer to be honest uh, it's always my um how to say <sighs> my criterion uh, of how well ventilated sure if i can wear it in summer and feel a little bit cooler then that's usually good ventilation and there's also a lot of ventilation on the back side of the jersey really a lot of it uh yeah it's it's I think it's ventilated. Let me just hold it against the light. Yes. So this is a different material than the front. Um, it's lighter and if you look at it, there are small vents. It's yeah, it's pretty much the same as the material as the sides. Da, 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 da. Yeah, now you can see it. It's kind of hard to show this off. Whereas the panel on the top of the sleeve is just a regular fabric and the front panel is its own fabric so um, very interesting if you look also on the inside label let's go really deep look at it's a warrior it says the size and yeah armed and unstoppable it says i also find it interesting this is an xl shirt uh us and europe and canada it's xxl can i read this in Asia and in Japan of course which is also Asia so yeah uh, very interesting also the white and yellow continues here and here you have uh, look at this taping here on the inside you have warrior you have the warrior logo and you have the live bird here too so it's very custom made I mean um, I think at that point Liverpool were, I mean, they were the first brand that Warrior took over and um, Sevilla then also had Warrior jerseys. And I gotta say, I might not mind having one of those Sevilla jerseys, especially the one with the red line down the front. They had that was definitely an interesting one. Last thing to show is of course the marks on the bottom. We have, is a Vortec jersey. I always wonder how people come up with stuff, but you know, Warrior. And then uh, the um, copyright mark, if you want to have authenticity mark, uh, it's also a very unique shape. So yeah, uh, one of the reasons, I mean, I really like the current Liverpool jersey. I like probably the one from last season even better. But uh, I saw this one. I got this again from this flea market site in Austria for, I'll see, was it? I think it was 20. Uh, plus shipping so um, it was 
relatively reasonably priced. Uh, it's in good condition. I think the only thing I can say is that here's a little thread that comes out and that we can get rid of quite easily. Everything else is pretty darn good condition. So quite happy with this buy. And yeah, let's hope. Go on, you Reds. We want you to win the Premier League. I want you to win the Premier League. I don't know if you're a City fan. Of course, you want City to win. Let me know what do you think about this jersey. Um, how would you rate it? Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jerseys. I added a few this week. Mostly international ones. This is a club jersey. And we'll see when the next club jersey will come. And yeah, up until then, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.